New question, the member from Sarnia Lansing. My question is to the Deputy Premier. Deputy Premier, yesterday Imperial Oil in Sarnia announced it would close its blending division at Sarnia, citing inability to be competitive in Ontario. This means a lost jobs and investment in Imperial, lost jobs and opportunities for the local trades, and lost business for local suppliers, and lost tax revenue for the city of Sarnia. Deputy Premier, will you do anything to kickstart our economy or generate investment in Ontario? And did you do anything to compete for those jobs in Imperial and the supporting jobs in the local community? Unbelievable. Deputy Premier. To the Minister of Economic Development, Trade and Employment. Minister of Economic Development, Trade and Employment. And thank you, Mr. Speaker. This is precisely why a year ago we created the South Western Ontario Development Fund, a fund which has actually helped to create and retain more than 6,000 jobs in Southwestern. Order. Order. I don't get things quiet for the last chop shots. Carry on. So, Mr. Speaker, of course, the party opposite the PCs chose not to support that. Member from Lambton, Kent, Middlesex will come to order. Be responsible for creating and retaining 6,000 jobs in southwestern Ontario. Last week, I met with Imperial Oil out in Calgary. I also met with another important Sarnia company, Nova Chemicals, headquartered in Calgary. I have meetings with both of them. I have great confidence in the chemical and petrochemical industry in that part of Ontario, and I will continue to work hard to make sure that we uh, support investments in sent the creation of new jobs, and it is succeeding, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Supplementary. Deputy Premier, back to the Deputy Premier again. Uh, you might ask how that fund's working out for you. Imperial Oil, founded in Lambton County in 1880, and it's over, uh, been over 100 years in Sarnia and created great jobs. After 10 years of your Liberal government skyrocketing energy prices and anti-business policies, companies across this province are heading for greener pastures. Uh, Deputy Premier, we saw it at Leamington's Heinz facility last week and other uh, cliffs just announced today, and of course, in Imperial Oil and Sarnia. Deputy Premier, the hits keep adding up. Will you finally agree that your government is bad for business in Ontario? It's time for a change from the team that's leading Ontario. Just apologize and resign. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Attorney General, Attorney General, you, uh, you ain't seen the speaker, Matt. No, you have nowhere close. Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, as the official opposition continues to denigrate and talk down our manufacturing sector, as I mentioned just last week, I met with two companies that had their bases in the Sarnia-Lampton area. I met with their executives to continue to promote investment in that important area. And I need to remind the legislature as well, of course, that the PCs opposed back in 2008 the support that we provided to the auto sector. If they had have got their way, Mr. Speaker, GM and Chrysler would not even be in this province in any, anymore. Instead, we have a record sales year for cars in this in this country. We're very proud of what is happening in our with our businesses and our manufacturers. We continue to invest in that sector. Thank you. Your question, the member from Algoma, Manitoulin.